So yesterday I put out a video on a congressman, excuse me, congressperson who also apparently is a pastor. And in the video, the congressperson ended the congressional prayer by saying a man and a woman to be more inclusive. Now, what I didn't talk about was what he said right before the prayer ended, because I wanted to go ahead and save that for another video altogether. So we're going to go ahead and take a look. But keep in mind, this is supposed to be a Christian pastor who taught at a Christian church for 30 some odd years or something like that. So let's go ahead and take a look. And there I ask, O Lord, peace even in this chamber now and evermore. We ask it in the name of the monotheistic God, Brahma and God known by many names, by many different faiths. A man and a woman. Yeah, so are you confused? I'm confused. I don't know if I hang out with the wrong crowds or what, but where I go to church, Christians usually pray in the name of Jesus, and he just prayed in the name of Brahma, which is a Hindu god. Now, isn't this guy supposed to be a Christian pastor? And if so, then who is he praying to? And why didn't he pray to the God of scripture? Now, I get that the meeting wasn't a church service or sermon or anything like that, and everybody's in Christian, but neither is everyone Hindu. So if he can mention a Hindu God by name, and he's supposed to be a Christian, then I don't see why he couldn't mention Jesus by name. So now, I don't know what this guy was doing. I get that he was trying to be more inclusive, but he had to leave reality in order to do so, because if he really believes that all of the other conceptions of God taught in other religions are harmonious or they're all talking about the same being, then he has to be a really bad listener, because that would mean that he hasn't been listening to what any of the other religions have to say about God. Not only do all of these other religions make exclusive claims, but there's no way to even harmonize all of the different conceptions of God found in these other religions. For example, if the Muslims believe that God doesn't love everyone and isn't triune, then you can't harmonize that with the God of Christianity who is all loving and is triune in nature. And even in some Eastern religions, when they say that everything is God and everything is one and there's no distinction between us and God, you can't harmonize that with the monotheistic religions that claim that we are the created and not the creator. These sorts of conflicting concepts are almost limitless because there's just no logical way to harmonize all of the different conceptions of God found in all of the different religions. And this is especially true of the religion that he himself claims to profess since the Bible that he taught out of every week teaches that salvation is only found in Jesus and we can't be saved by any other name. Now, all of this is ironic to me personally because we're in an age where we have Congress telling us that we aren't allowed to tell people how they should identify. We're told that we should just accept and respect how people identify and leave it at that, right? But if that's the case, then I think that this pastor should do the same. He should let God identify how God wants to identify and stop trying to force his views on how God should identify unto God. Given that this pastor actually believes the Bible that he teaches from, then the pastor should know that God identifies in the Bible as the only true God, the first and the last, and not to be confused with the other false gods. God also identifies as revealing himself in the person of Jesus Christ, who came to die for our sins so that way we could have salvation. And speaking of salvation, God identifies as being the only way to salvation, and that's through Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross for us. But I know that this is politics and using Christianity in order to further political agendas is nothing new. And yes, I mean this for people on both sides of the political debate. One way or another, Jesus gets thrown into the conversation. Like more recently, when some people even argued that Jesus wore dresses in order to defend a politically charged claim that manly men wear dresses too. I'll talk about that in this video, so go ahead and take a look. But the next time that you hear a reverend end in a prayer by saying, We ask it in the name of the monotheistic God, Brahma, and God known by many names by many different faiths. What are you going to say? What do you, whoa, meme?